Well, that was Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, mocking a T-shirt the company made years ago in an effort to show support for its black employees and users. By the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Okay, facts first here on CNN. <laughs> Musk said that Hands Up, Don't Shoot was made up. The whole thing was a fiction. Yeah, he's right, you know. This needs some context. No. All they do is fearmonger about dangerous disinformation when it comes to a justification to suppress their political opponents, but apparently they carve out a special exception for their disinformation because it's different. Musk is absolutely 100% factually correct. But of course, Don Lamont has to throw a tantrum and label this a right-wing talking point. Because when you correct left-wing lies, that automatically makes you a right-winger. Don't ask questions or you will be otherized as a right-winger. As if there's something inherently wrong with being a right-winger in the first place. Before Lamont gives us his context, which will literally just be more lies, here's what actually happened. A criminal named Michael Brown had just robbed a convenience store and was walking down the street when an officer attempted to stop him. Michael resisted, fought with the officer, and tried to grab his gun. After failing to do so, Michael retreated a short distance, then charged at the officer again when the officer discharged his firearm and ended the fight. Just like we constantly see from our media right now, disinformation quickly took root and was spread by the media because it fit their political narratives. In this case, it was a claim that Brown had his hands up when he was shot, and the slogan, hands up, don't shoot, took root, which incited violent riots, calls for violence against police and BLM supporters who carried out those calls. So weird that nobody in the media blamed Democrats or their own rhetoric for inciting that violence. <laughs> I'm just sitting here wondering what kind of gaslighting or Wellian nightmare bullshit Lemon's gonna drop on us to justify calling undeniable facts right-wing talking points. And I promise we're getting right into that clip, but first, just give me a minute to tell you about this amazing free coin offer from a company that I trust and have worked with for years, Noble Gold. Did you know Noble Gold's team of precious metals experts have helped thousands of worried investors like you to build and preserve wealth through times like these? Find out why gold, silver, and IRAs are the answer to inflation and financial contagion. Talk to a personal precious metals expert today. Oh, and this month they're gifting a free three ounce silver American virtue coin with every qualified IRA above $20,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And as always, there's a link in the description or pinned comment. Just remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. So the phrase, hands up, don't shoot, became a national rallying cry in 2014 in solidarity with Michael Brown, who's the unarmed black teenager who some witnesses said had his hands up to surrender when he was shot and killed by a white police officer, Darren Wilson. Wait, wait, wait. Why does it matter that the officer was white? Well, it matters because Don Lamont doesn't like white people. And just the fact that the officer was white justifies the riots. Just like in the case of George Floyd, where there was no evidence of racism and none was ever charged during the trial, yet the Democrat and the media narrative is that racism was the cause. In 2015, the Justice Department cast doubt on the hands up account, concluding in a report that Wilson shot Brown multiple times only as Brown was moving toward the officer. This is what Musk is referencing in his tweets. The DOJ did not find grounds to charge the officer. One thing that Lamont failed to mention, that report came out of Barack Obama's DOJ. Funny that he wouldn't mention that. But in a separate report released the same day, it did find evidence of system systematic racial discrimination in Ferguson. So remember, hands up, don't shoot. After Ferguson became a nationwide protest symbol for police mistreatment of minorities, it was about more than the shooting of Michael Brown. It was about the pattern of police shootings. And hashtag stay woke, which mo Musk mocked, was how Twitter wanted called out racial injustice. Wrong, 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 wrong. 
Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, but there was no evidence of racial injustice in this case. And no, those shirts perpetuated dangerous disinformation that led to deadly riots, which I notice you never bring up. So let me just get this straight. It was okay for the media to perpetuate a myth, which was actually just dangerous disinformation, casting the shooting of Michael Brown as a racist murder. Because there is also a problem with racial injustice in policing. But what does that have to do with Michael Brown, who was a criminal and who was shot justifiably, found by a trial and by Obama's DOJ? That's exactly what a big lie is. It's a lie that gets repeated over and over until it becomes true. And that's definitely what Democrats are up to once again. Last year, Democrat rep Jayapal tweeted out, quote, seven years ago today, Michael Brown was killed by police in Ferguson. His life mattered, and we must recommit ourselves to honoring his memory by passing real policing and justice reforms that will save lives. Which is totally misleading because Michael Brown was the criminal who attacked the cop. Then in May of this year, she upped the ante by saying, quote, today should be Michael Brown's 26th birthday. Instead, he was taken from this world in an act of racism. Today, in wake of another brutal attack on black Americans, may his memory be a reminder to stand up to hatred wherever you see it. Sounds like an incitement to violence to me, especially since it's based on a total lie and can't be backed up with a shred of evidence. But notice, no fact check or warning from Twitter on either of these posts. Then, a couple months later in August, she escalates again, saying, quote, Today marks eight years since Michael Brown was murdered by police in Ferguson. We need to honor Michael's life with action. Let's keep fighting to dismantle white supremacy so we can ensure racial justice for all. He was not murdered, and it was not based on racism, according to the trial and the DOJ investigation. Thankfully, since Musk took over, there is now a fact check on that post. And look, if the trial and Obama's DOJ investigation aren't enough for you, even the left-wing Washington Post admits it's a big lie. Quote, investigators have overwhelmingly rejected witness accounts that Brown had his hands up in a surrender before being shot execution style. The DOJ has concluded Wilson did not know whether Brown was armed, acted out of self-defense, and was justified in killing Brown. The majority of witnesses told federal investigators that the initial claims that Brown's hands were up were not accurate. Hands up shoot did not happen in Brown's killing. And it is a characterization that deserves four Pinocchios. Facts first here on CNN. Don Lemon just get demoted for being slightly less awful than Brian Stelter? Unsurprisingly, these big lies from CNN were sponsored by Pfizer, who make Nexium and Chapstick, which were ads run during this segment. Don't spend your money on these things made by people that have zero respect for you. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.